Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. Now I'm hoping once I start working on this it comes into focus again. I've had um, a few requests for a tile that I did. I did a set of three tiles last night using Boom Gel Stain and it turned out really, really pretty. So um, I thought I'd do one as we've had so many requests and see how we go. So there won't be any music or anything like that playing in the background because this is more like a tutorial um, video. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm applying White Boom Gel Stain. So it's actually called Sterling Wax White. So Boom Gel Stain is a non-toxic, um, water-based, um, hand application friendly, hence why I'm using my hands, um, gel and it's amazing to work with. I'm hoping this is um, still coming up nice and clear, guys. All right, so I've got a nice layer here. I like using my hands. You don't have to use your hands. You can um, sponge it on or however you like, really. Um, but I just like it. So these little bubbles that are here, um, I don't need to worry about them, they'll actually just um, disappear. So you can see I've got some unevenness here. With Boom it really doesn't matter. Um, and with the effect that I'm going for I'm going to move that around a little bit more in a way. But I might just apply a tiny bit more. I do want a, a nice background with the white because what will happen is this actually will increase um, cell activity and um, veining, that kind of thing. So it just gives it a really nice effect. So hence why I'm doing this first. All right, so there's my background layer. So there I may have used perhaps 30 mils, 30 to 50 mils perhaps. Sorry, I had to walk away while I got paper towel. Okay, so now... This is what I did last night, and like I said, we've had lots of requests, so hopefully it turns out just as lovely. All right, this is our um, Baronia Burgundy. It's a very messy looking bottle. Now, actually, what I did do last night, this is just water. This is a mist bottle. So I've done my boom background in white. I'm now literally just going to mist it. So that's, there was four pumps there, but um, dispersed all over the place so it's not a great deal and that's just to increase the flow of what I'm going to do now so I'm just going to just get that air bubble away okay now I have got the tally playing in the background so I hope none of you can hear it and it's not too distracting but my children are asleep in the other room so um, it's a little bit reassuring if they hear some background noise going on. Okay, so there's my burgundy. And if I bring this a little bit closer, you will start to see, I don't know if you can see, but we're actually starting to get some almost lacing effects on the edges. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to pop this back down. Then I go along with my second colour, which is our beautiful um, metallic copper. So, as with most metallics, they're quite heavy. This one in our range is about, um, sits in the middle. So it's not as heavy as gold, but it's a little bit heavier than the silver. So I had a, an accident the other night and I tipped a whole lot on the bench and rather than waste it, I picked it up and actually put it into a cup, hence why I've got a cup here. So I'm just going to go along here. And I'm literally just following the lines that I did previously. If I want a heavier deposit, I'm just going to literally let it drip a bit more. Okay. All right, and some here. This Baronia is such a beautiful colour. 
So I do hope it's showing up well in the camera because you know what it's like. Sometimes the colours just aren't as intense as what they really are. So I've done that. In, I wasn't particularly fussy. I've put it on and what have I used? Perhaps 10 mils of the Baronia Burgundy and maybe 15 of the copper. Very, very little. Okay, I'm going to give it one more spritz. So again, this is a fine mist bottle. Um, now that one I sprayed off because I wanted to... All right. So I did... If I spray too much, it will actually run quite a bit and I don't want it running quite that much. Okay, so now I'm actually going to lift this. I'm just going to tilt it ever just a gently. I'm trying to see if you can get some of these effects going on. So remember I said about the lacing and stuff, so can you see that? All right, so I want some of this to happen and this is what I did last night and then I'm going to tilt it back this way I'll let you see that and then I'm actually going to blow alright so I'm going to keep this elevated I hope my head doesn't end up in the camera I'm really trying to avoid it so can you see what I'm doing I'm not sure All right, so I'm doing short, sharp bursts. Um, and I am actually, in my head, I am looking at a pattern and trying to, you know, work it out. So if I do a short, sharp burst, you'll see how the um, it disperses. But then if I do gently back behind here, it spreads out the darker rim of the colour. I'll see if I can... So I hope you can see what I mean. So, yeah, I'll just keep going. Hopefully you're getting the idea. I really like this and I'm not going to do any more to this little area here. Some of that copper will sink down and some of it will actually sink down and create like a shadowing effect, but I really like that. So I'm happy for that to happen. Some of these effects here I really like. So rather than blowing this way, I'm going to start blowing a little bit this way. And I just work on small sections at a time. Oh, sorry, everyone. I'm trying to keep it so that you can see it. There we go. We're back in focus. Okay, so I want it just very gently wisping out and blending. But I also want some um, areas where that baronia just really steps up. So I'm going to try this area here. Okay, so the, I keep tapping my straw. You'll hear me tapping my straw. That is because um, condensation builds up in the straw, um, the humidity, so of my breath, my air, that I'm, you know, my breath, sorry. So I actually want to tap out that condensation rather than having it fall on here. If it did, it's not the end of the world, but yeah. Now I'm just going to focus in on here. I hope it's nice and clear. So you can see this effect is just amazing. So I'm getting these effects because, A, first of all, I've done the background with white, and then I've also, I'm encouraging it by um, spritzing with the water. But isn't this stunning? And there are areas where I'm not going to blow um, because I do want that shadowing, like I said before. So now I'm just going to keep working on my little areas, okay? So I hope I don't lose you too much, guys. I'll try not to. I'm going to try and be mindful of where I'm blowing and you'll have to excuse the breath noises but it's a blowing tutorial
Okay. Isn't this just amazing? So if I want to spread this a little bit more, I'm just going to blow ever so gently here. Now if I blow back, you will see more of the outline again. So. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Um, I might pull a little bit more out again, just in this area, even though I really liked it, but I feel like it needs something. There we go. Isn't that like a beautiful blossom? Okay, now where am I going to start working? Maybe here. Um, this wall, which way? Um, okay. Now I want a little bit more harshness so I'm just going to Okay. All right. I hope you're getting a good It's quite difficult because I'm trying to blow and keep my head out but I also want you to have a good view of what's going on. I just want to uncover a little bit more copper here. Okay. That's out of focus a little bit, sorry. I'll turn around. This is where I'm working now. All right. Here I want to blow some more white. So I want a bit of shadowing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz just there. So I'm going to just give it a nice spray off. There we go. Okay, so I'll let that sit for a sec. And then this will actually thin the white out. Um, I wonder if you can see this, okay. Now, can you see that beautiful lacing effect? I hope. Okay, let's see if I can bring that in. Oh. Okay, I don't know what I just did. I think I just took a photo or I paused it. 
No, we're still recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you still have to bear with me. I know this is unprofessional, but you know. Okay, we're back. Sorry, um, I reached my maximum recording time, apparently, my phone told me. All right, I'm going to have to work quicker, I think. Um, okay, there's a little area here I'm not 100% happy with. I'm just going to blow it out a little bit more. Okay. All right. You get the idea, though, don't you, guys? Now, see here... In this corner I, I will end up adding a little bit more to that this is still really wet I can do that um, and I will still keep going I might need to spritz in that corner but that's not an issue but this is looking amazing well I think so okay so you can see how I did that quick initial burst or blow, got it out there, and then if I gently push behind that dark outline, it spreads it without taking all the colour with it. I hope that makes sense. This will also continue, continue to change just a little bit. But can you see these effects that have come through now? Have a look. Go okay, down this way. Isn't that just beautiful? It just screams Japanese blossoms to me and dragons and... Hi everyone, sorry about that, we kind of um, ended abruptly. Um, so this is the result, so this is the next day now, this has started drying, so the edges are quite dry, um, and it, of course it starts from the outside and then works its way in during the drying process, and I'll just see if I can zoom in on some of the details for you. So it's really quite stunning. So as you can see, a lot of the um, a lot of the copper actually dissipates, but you still get to see see it and see the effect that it has, like that ghosting effect that I kept referring to. Sorry, everyone, I'm trying to get you some good. And my lighting's terrible. It's um, really overcast here today, so this actually looks quite dull. I probably should have turned the kitchen lights on. But you can see some of these effects are just amazing. So this area here was the corner that I mentioned last night before the video ended, where I was going to add a little bit more which I did. Okay. So there we go. And how easy was it? 
All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.